Hey there, my fellow INFJs. Are you tired of feeling like the odd one out in a world that doesn't quite understand you? Do you sometimes feel yourself struggling to make sense of your own thoughts and emotions, let alone the thoughts and emotions of those around you? Well, fear not, my friends, because today we're going to talk about the power of being an INFJ. As one of the rarest and most unique personality types in the whole world, INFJs often feel like they don't quite fit in with the rest of the world. They're deep thinkers with unique perspectives on life that often sets them apart from others. But what many individuals don't realize is that being an INFJ comes with its own set of strengths and challenges that make them truly unique individuals. So, what are these strengths and challenges, you may ask? Let's get started. The INFJs have an incredible ability to connect with others on a deep, emotional level. They're highly empathetic and compassionate, and they have a unique understanding of the complexities of human emotion. This makes us excellent listeners and advisors, and people often go to them for guidance and support. But that's not all. INFJs are also highly creative and imaginative. They have a unique perspective on the world, and they're able to come up with innovative solutions to issues that others may not even see. Their ability to see the big picture and connect seemingly unrelated ideas is truly a gift. So, how can you use these strengths to achieve your personal and professional goals? Well, for starters, use your natural ability to connect with others to build relationships and expand your network. Attend networking events, join professional organizations, and don't be afraid to reach out to individuals in your field. Your ability to connect with others will help you build meaningful relationships that can open doors to new opportunities. When it comes to creativity, don't be afraid to think outside the box. Instead of following the same old path that everyone else is taking, look for new and innovative ways to achieve your goals. Whether it's coming up with a unique marketing strategy for your business or finding a creative solution to a problem at work, your ability to think creatively will set you apart from the crowd. Of course, INFJs also have their own set of challenges to overcome. They can be prone to overthinking and indecision, which can easily hold them back from fulfilling their dreams. But by staying mindful of their tendencies and taking steps to overcome them, they can use their strengths to achieve incredible success. But what are some of the specific challenges that they often face? Let's take a closer look. First and foremost, many INFJs feel misunderstood by those around them. They have a unique perspective on the world, and they often struggle to communicate their thoughts and emotions to others. This can lead to isolation and loneliness, as they may feel like no one truly understands them. Another challenge that INFJs face commonly is feeling overwhelmed by the emotions of others. They're highly empathetic and sensitive to the feelings of those around them, which means they can sometimes take on their emotional burdens as our own. This can lead to anxiety and exhaustion, as they may struggle to find a way to manage their own emotions and those of others. Additionally, as deep thinkers and highly analytical individuals, INFJs can sometimes struggle with making decisions. They may overthink and analyze every possible outcome, which can lead to indecision and hesitation. This can be especially challenging in professional settings, where they may need to make quick and decisive choices. How can INFJs overcome their challenges and turn them into strengths? Fear not, my fellow INFJs. There are ways to overcome these issues and thrive in both personal and professional settings. For example, when it comes to feeling misunderstood, it's important to find people who truly get you. Seek out friends and colleagues who share your perspective on the world, and don't be afraid to express yourself authentically. When it comes to feeling overwhelmed by the emotions of others, it's important to set boundaries and take care of yourself. Practice self-care techniques like meditation or journaling to help you manage your own emotions, and don't be afraid to say no when you need to take a break. And when it comes to decision-making, try to find a balance between analysis and action. Consider all of the options, but don't get bogged down in indecision. Trust your instincts and take action when the time is right. Remember, your unique perspective on the world is a gift, and with a little bit of self-awareness and self-care, you can overcome any challenge and achieve your goals. But how can they actually leverage these strengths to leave a positive impact on the world? One way is to find a cause that aligns with your values and use your unique skills to make a difference. For example, if you're passionate about mental health, you could use your empathy and compassion to work with people struggling with mental illness. 
or use your creativity to raise awareness about mental health issues. Another way is to use your unique perspective to challenge the status quo. INFJs have a natural inclination to question authority and challenge established norms, which can be a powerful force for change. Use your creativity and strong intuition to come up with new and innovative solutions to existing problems, and don't be afraid to speak up and share your ideas with the world. So there you have it, my fellow INFJs, some ways you can leverage our unique abilities to make a positive impact on the world. Whether you're using your empathy to help others, your creativity to inspire change, or your intuition to challenge the status quo, remember that your unique perspective is a gift. And with a little bit of effort, you can make a real difference in the world. Are you using your strengths to make a positive impact on the world, but struggling to maintain balance and prevent burnout? Don't worry, you're not alone. First and foremost, it's important to recognize that as INFJs, they have a tendency to put others' needs before their own. While this is a great quality, it can also lead to burnout if they're not careful. That's why it's crucial to set boundaries and prioritize self-care. Make sure you're getting enough rest, exercise, and nourishing food, and don't be afraid to say no to things that drain your energy. Additionally, it's important to find a support system. As INFJs, they can sometimes feel like they're the only ones who understand their unique perspectives, but that's not true. Find a group of like-minded individuals who can offer support and understanding. This could be through a local meetup group, an online community, or even just a few close friends who you can talk to when you're feeling overwhelmed. Another way to maintain balance and prevent burnout is to prioritize your passions. As INFJs, they have a deep inner drive to leave a positive impact on the world, but it's important to remember that they can't do everything. Focus on the causes and projects that are most important to you, and don't spread yourself too thin. Lastly, it's crucial to take breaks and recharge your batteries. INFJs can sometimes feel guilty for taking time off, but it's essential for their well-being. Take a vacation, go for a walk in nature, or just take a day to relax and do something you enjoy. You'll come back refreshed, energized, and ready to tackle the world again. How can others better understand and support INFJs in their personal and professional lives? First and foremost, it's important to recognize that INFJs are introverted and tend to enjoy the company of themselves. This doesn't mean they don't like you, it just shows they need some alone time to recharge their batteries. So if your INFJ friend or colleague declines an invitation to hang out or doesn't seem interested in small talk, don't take it personally. Secondly, INFJs are deep thinkers and tend to focus on the big picture. They're not always great at dealing with the nitty-gritty details of everyday life. So if you're working on any project with an INFJ, try to give them some space to think about the big picture. And don't get too bogged down in the details. Thirdly, INFJs are very empathetic and tend to absorb the emotions of those around them. This means they can sometimes feel overwhelmed by negative emotions in their environment. If you notice your INFJ friend or colleague seems stressed or anxious, try to create a calming and positive environment for them. Lastly, it's important to recognize that INFJs have a deep inner drive to make a positive impact on the world. They're not just looking for a job to pay the bills. They're looking for a purpose. If you want to support your INFJ friend or colleague, try to help them find meaning in their work and encourage them to pursue their passions. So whether you're an INFJ or just someone who knows and loves an INFJ, we hope this video has given you some insights into the strengths and challenges of this personality type. And if you're an INFJ, remember that you're not alone. There are millions of INFJs out there, all striving to make the world a good place in their own unique way. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more content on all things INFJ. We'll see you next time.